Hello friends, welcome to Civil Engineering Exam. Today we are going to see the uh, design criteria of grid chamfer. So for the design of grid chamfer, we have to know the uh, some design criteria and assumptions. So the standards we have to know. So the first one is uh, the detention period. So the time of waste water travel in the uh, grid chamfer. So that is uh, 45 to 90 seconds. So the minimum 45 seconds and maximum of 90 seconds uh, should travel the water into the grid chamfer. So then the effective depth of uh, grid chamfer is 1 to 2 meter. So then sludge depth. So sludge depth is uh, 0 0.5 meter. So we know the effective depth is uh, 1, 1 to 2 meter. Then sludge depth should uh, maximum of 0 0.5 meter. So above 0 0.5 meter, so we can't uh, accept the sludge depth because uh, the regular cleaning is required. Then width of chamfer. So width of chamfer is uh, 1 meter. Then length of chamfer is nearly 10 to 15 meters. Okay, so length and width. Uh, so then velocity, uh, the flow velocity will be 0 0.15 to 0 0.3 meter per second. Okay, so then settling velocity V S. So the settling velocity we can find out from the formula 60.6 .6 into G minus 1 into D into 3 T plus 70 divided by 100. Okay, so where G is specific gravity, then uh, specific gravity D is uh, dia of particles. So then T is temperature. Okay, so from the relationship, we can find out the setting velocity of the uh, grid chamfer. Okay, so next thing is surface overflow rate. So the SOR value, so uh, the value is uh, Q divided by B into L. So where Q is equal to discharge in meter cube per second, then B is width, then L equal to length. So both in meter. Okay. So then the horizontal flow velocity. So commonly we can assume 0 0.152, 0 0.3 meter per second. Otherwise we can uh, calculate from the formula. So L by T or Q divided by B into D. So where D is equal to depth. Okay. So effective depth is a D. So then check for velocity. So we have to check the velocity. Uh, the flow horizontal flow velocity should be greater than of self cleaning velocity. So these are all the design standards we have to follow while designing the grid chamfer. So this is the uh, design criteria for grid chamfer. Again we will see in the next video. Thank you.